Monsters of Godzilla vs. Kong. Today we will be reacting to the size comparison of every one of the monsters that was in Godzilla vs. Kong. This animation was made by, of course, who else? Film Core. I'll throw them up on the screen right now so you can see them. They always make the size comparisons, the evolutions, all that crazy stuff. So big shout out to them and a big shout out to all these monsters, man. I saw the thumbnail and you saw the thumbnail of this video. They all look amazing. So let me know in the comments right now from the movie. Don't you go look back at it. Just from what you remember, which monster do you think it's gonna be the biggest. I have no idea, so I'm not even gonna guess because I'm gonna lose. But who do you think out there is gonna be the biggest? And other than that, let's jump right in here to find out ourselves and what's going on at the very beginning here. You know what? Let's just press play. Oh, that's all, uh, that's the naked guy he's got in every video. Oh, this guy can never catch a break, man. Did they just drop King Kong on him? Imagine having a giant monkey. Yeah, that's right. I said monkey. King Kong. Everybody calls him the monkey. Imagine having that thing dropped on you. I don't even imagine it. You'd be quickly dead. Look at that animation. Ooh, looks real good. And how tall is King Kong in this movie? I know they made him bigger for this one. And that's how it should be. I love when King Kong's real giant. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite monsters. Dang, we just transported. Is this Hollow Earth? Yes, it sure is. We are now in Hollow Earth. You can see, like, the, the land above him, too. I don't remember. Who is this? Arcano Claw? Yeah, I, not really important. They're six to four feet tall. I, not very big. Oh, look at Doug. That's my boy. <laughs> you know what? This is one of my favorite kaijus. Why? I have no idea, but Titan is Doug, man, looking like just a dog. He just looks like a dog in a lizard mixed, and I just love him. I love Doug. You gotta love Doug, man. And King Kong, they haven't said his height yet, right? Oh, that's a uh, Warbat, isn't it? We got Warbat flying through. I'm almost positive it's Warbat. Don't make me get that wrong. Oh, don't you come at me, son. Woo. That was scary. King Kong, though, saving my life. Appreciate that, fam. Threw him down to the ground and destroyed him. Yep, Warbat at 935 feet tall. That is a giant creature. And of course, the weight is unknown because how could you weigh this thing? Oh, here we go. King Kong just beating him into the ground. Dragging him across the ground. That's kind of uh, disrespectful there, Kong. But you know what? You do what you got to do. I, I'm not uh, I'm not butting into your business. That's right. Is it going to show King Kong size now? That might be towards the end with Godzilla, I would imagine. That would make the most sense for me. I forgot who all he fought down here. It wasn't that many monsters, right? I was surprised at how many monsters weren't in this uh, in this movie. I thought there were going to be a lot more, to be honest. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should they have added more monsters in Godzilla uh, versus King Kong? I think they should have. Now they got a... Uh, who is this? Hellhawk. That's who it is. Nine feet tall. Those were the ones that were swooping. Yeah, going after the humans. Swooping after the humans. You know what I was doing. What I was talking about. And King Kong just kind of steps on him, gets him out of there. And here is the almighty axe. Pulls it out of the skull. That axe is always just so beautiful, man. Puts it up in the air. And King Kong, 337 feet tall. And the weight is unknown. I would imagine it's a very heavy monkey there. That's all I got to say. The hollow earth beam jumps through it. And somehow ends up grabbing the top. <laughs> Very confusing, but you know what? That works. Yep, there he goes. Grabs the top. And now it is Godzilla versus Kong. How tall is Godzilla again? Oh, hold on now. Godzilla looking real good in this animation. Got the blue accents throughout the, throughout the throat and the chest and the eyes. Yo, the eyes. Godzilla's eyes in Godzilla versus Kong. This is one of my favorite ones, man. Looks really good. And he is 393 feet and almost 100,000 tons in weight. That is a ton of weight. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go, though. King Kong not happy about this. You think it's going to go the same as the movie? I would imagine, right? Atomic breath towards him. Connects with the axe. And explosion. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful film course. Shout out to you. Here we go, Godzilla, getting back up. 
You already know what happened in the movie. Pretty much, God. I, I, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to give it away, but you're kind of watching it right now. Because this is what happened. They were fighting. Godzilla throwing them hands at him. Get that axe, Kong. You've got him, son. I thought this was going to be a shorter video only because there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of monsters in this movie. Like I said, I wish they had more in it. Disrespecting Kong. Oh, the step on the chest. Is he going to scream in his face? Yep, he sure is. Screaming in his face. Wait, are we going to see Mechagodzilla? That's another monster in this movie. Oh, he's busted. He's got to be busted out of the mountain. Who the heck is this? Is that a skull crawler? That's one of the... I forgot which skull crawler. Yeah, number 10, whatever. A 194 feet and 100 tons in weight. That's still a big creature. And look at Mecha... Oh my... Look at Mecha Godzilla. Okay, we got to pause right here because Mecha Godzilla looking too good right now. It says he is 459 feet tall. Was that the same as Godzilla? Maybe a little shorter or whatever. I don't know what it was, but the weight is unknown. He's definitely bigger than King Kong. So let's see. Ooh, that beam. Oh man, this animation is real nice. Look how good that looks. I mean, that looks exactly like the movie. What, what do you think, guys? You think this looks good? This is amazing to me. And Godzilla about to go attack him. With the atomic breath. Ooh. Meeting in the middle. Where's King Kong right now? Oh, no. King Kong did come in late. I remember that. It was like, Kong, help me, stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, Mecha Godzilla looks so good. There we go. Good job, Kong. So this is going to be pretty much like the movie. Oh, hold up. That was not like the movie, was it? I did not see that. I just noticed that on the corner of my eye. This was definitely not like the movie. As you can see at the bottom, that is not Godzilla. That would be Titanus Doug, like a bad dog coming in, biting somebody's ankle. Doug came out of nowhere and kind of saved the day. Wow, good stuff there, Doug. And there's Godzilla. You already know who wins it in the actual, but who wins it this time? Godzilla versus King Kong size comparison. That was amazing. A big giant shout out to Titanus Doug, man. He came in and he kind of saved the day. It got Mechagodzilla's attention off of King Kong and Godzilla. He had to look down at his ankle because there was a bad dog chewing on it. Other than that though, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button and also that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I will of course see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love ya. Uh, goodbye.